candidate for student body president who's now an inmate after he was caught rigging his college election. He has admitted stealing the identities of hundreds of fellow students and casting votes for himself and his friends. ABC's Abby Boudreaux has the story. From running for student body president to sitting behind bars, 22-year-old Matthew Weaver was a shoe-in for office. Of course, he voted for himself hundreds of times. On Monday, the former Cal State San Marcos student was sentenced to one year in federal prison after admitting to rigging his campus elections and pleading guilty to wire fraud. We charge it as a felony because when you've stolen the identities of over 700 people, I don't see how you can reasonably say that that's a misdemeanor. Authorities say Weaver used an electronic device that records a computer user's keystrokes to steal more than 700 student passwords. The story plays out like a scene from the movie Election, where Reese Witherspoon's character will do just about anything to win votes at her high school. Now I really must insist that you help me win the election tomorrow because I deserve it. Weaver admitted to casting nearly 500 fake votes for himself and friends. There is a lot of votes coming from one IP address because we don't record normally who votes for what, but we have a, we can say it came from here. Overnight, Weaver's attorney sat down with GMA. It was a childish prank that was treated like a federal crime. He knows what he did was wrong, and he's sorry for that. Um, I believe that, that the federal government went a little far in actually pursuing felony charges against him. A so-called college prank with real-life consequences. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Los Angeles.